<coughs> I, uh, I found this Toshiba laptop uh, laying on the top of the garbage can, my neighborhood. And uh, I thought I will uh, take it with me so I can uh, salvage some parts from it. Uh, I couldn't find mm, too much information about this laptop on the internet. It's satellite C50B18Z. Uh, all my searches came bogus. Maybe it got something to do with uh, Toshiba changing uh, ownership with uh, another company or something like that. So... Uh, laptop was when I tried to turn it on it did turn on so I decided I will change the hard drive the regular hard drive with uh, an uh, SSD fast fast hard drive and then I will try to install a uh, operating system or in the name Ubuntu, which I uh, never try uh, to install before. I have uh, zero experience with that. Usually I install Microsoft Windows, uh, but uh, this Ubuntu doesn't require any license, so I download it from the internet and I will uh, try to install it on this video but first I will change the hard drive this is a pretty straightforward uh, task you need to unscrew all the screws on the back of the device it's like uh, 10 12 screws and then you just need pull the hard drive unfortunately this machine only got one slot of uh, RAM memory and uh, that's a shame because I have I have a couple of uh, four gigabyte sticks that could fit over there but uh, it cannot accept it because it's got only one one slot Changing the hard drive is uh, very easy. I just took this rubber, blue rubber thingy from the regular hard drive and put it on the new hard drive, the SSD SanDisk uh, 256 gigabyte and uh, put it inside. Let's connect to the SATA connectors and that's it. I then try to find a suitable uh, CD-ROM to put inside, but uh, all the two CD-ROMs that I had it, uh, were a little bit on the short side and they didn't fit. I'm sure they will work, but uh, I wanted to fit, so I put back the little black plastic that was there. I then booted the computer from the USB drive that I uh, pre-prepared with the installation of the Ubuntu and uh, the next few screens you'll see the installation screens of the Ubuntu number 20 version uh, screens
attacking now. After it finished installing the operating system, it started giving uh, a message about computer clock is wrong. I uh, off camera opened uh, the case again, search for the CMOS battery, see if I can replace it, but I couldn't find it. So I just uh, changed the clock from the settings inside the Ubuntu, which was a uh, medium uh, difficulty. <laughs> So after putting the correct date and time, I was able to surf with uh, Firefox and open uh, YouTube and websites like in a normal computer. Thank you for watching.